trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Hey, good morning. How y'all doing this morning? It is March the 23rd, 2022. It is Wednesday. Hope you have a great day on hump day. Today we're going to look at the spiritual gift of like-mindedness. Being like-minded. Paul says in Romans chapter 15 verses 5 and 6 that now the God of patience and consolation grant you to be like-minded one toward another according to Christ Jesus, that you may with one mind and one mouth glorify God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Paul is saying that God gives us the gift of like-mindedness. The Greek word for like-minded is phroneo, spelled P-H-R-O-N-E-O, phroneo. Several times, Paul calls for us to be of the same mind or to be of one mind. In Romans 12, verse 16, Paul writes, Be of the same mind toward one another. Do not set your mind on high things but associate with the humble. Do not be wise in your own opinion. The word mind there is the Greek word phroneo that is the same as being like-minded toward one another. In 2 Corinthians 13 verse 11, Paul says, Finally, brethren, farewell. Become complete. Be of good comfort. Be of one mind. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Paul again speaks of the spiritual gift of like-mindedness. Being of one mind. In Philippians chapter 2 verse 2, Paul says, Fulfill you my joy. That you, be, that you be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Again, he tells the Philippians to be like-minded. So what is the purpose of the spiritual gift of like-mindedness? Back in Romans chapter 15 verse 5, Paul says that the reason we should be like-minded is to glorify God, the Father of Jesus Christ. We may belong to different denominations. We may go to different churches. We may worship differently. We may pray differently. But we can all be like-minded in glorifying God. He is our Creator. He is our Savior. He is our Protector. He is our Deliverer. We need to give Him the glory that He deserves. Amen? So, as always, be sure to click the red subscribe button if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on any of these lessons. And feel free to share these videos with your friends and family, either on YouTube or on Facebook. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, that by Holy Spirit we can be like-minded toward one another, Lord God, that we can come together and we can glorify you. Father God, we may be in different churches, we may be in different places of worship, Lord God, but we can have the same purpose to give you the glory that you deserve. So, Father God, help us to remember that. Help us to always be thankful, Lord God, for the things that you've given us. And, Father, for the way that you work through us. 
Father God, there is no way of knowing what our words may do to encourage people, Lord God. Father God, we just always want to have your words in our heart and your words in our mouth. Help the Holy Spirit to speak to us and speak through us that others may come to know you as Lord and Savior. And Father, we pray for the people in Ukraine, Lord God. We just lift them up to you. Father God, we pray that they would find comfort in you, Lord God, that they would be protected, Lord God, that they would be provided for and encouraged in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Y'all have a great day today, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Mm -hmm.